Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to know when and how to run an entire sequence in Infusionsoft's Campaign Builder. So this is more kind of showing you your options, and then ultimately you kind of have to decide what's going to be best for the campaign that you're working on. But let's head over into my Infusionsoft application. Go ahead and log in at home if you wish. I'm already in Campaign Builder just to save time. And I've got a blank, a blank canvas. We're starting from scratch. So uh, let's say we're in a scenario where people are coming from the web. And they are signing up to receive a free report. And then we're going to deliver the report and some additional information. And there's going to be an opportunity call to action, if you will, in those emails to buy something, and they may or may not buy it. So let's connect these. If you've worked with me, you know I kind of like to label these, I change the label so that they reflect what I'm trying to demonstrate or what I'm trying to do. So this is a report. deliver and follow up. Purchase, we can leave that alone, and then deliver and follow up. Okay, certainly more we can do here, and certainly more that we would do down here in accordance with the life cycle marketing model, but this is what we're talking about right now. Okay, so uh, what I'm referring to in the title of this, if we should run a sequence all the way to the end or not, it hinges on this thing right here. So when we bring out a sequence icon, there's three things we can do. We can change the wording below it. We can click on this icon in the lower left, which we're going to do in just a second. And then we can open up the sequence and, and put things in there, such as tags or tasks or emails or whatever you want to do. So this piece here in the lower left, when you click on it one time, you get a pop-up box that says, when this goal is achieved, I'm sorry, when a goal is achieved in this sequence, stop it immediately or run until it's completed. So what that is saying, the way I've set up this demo here, I'm going to close this so we can go back to this. When this goal is achieved, when this purchase happens, should the system continue to run this sequence or should the system stop running that sequence? In this scenario, it's, the answer is probably, I say probably because I don't know what you're going to put into this sequence, but it's probably going to be follow-ups that encourage people to do this. So once that's done, they don't really need any more emails encouraging them to do that. So I would keep the flag with the blue border around it. If the purchase is made, the emails encouraging them to buy stop. And then because this happens, this happens, this rolls out. So then they move into this sequence. So it's not like we stop talking to them. We just are talking to them in a different way, in a more relevant way. Now, if, let's see, so let's say somebody is um, signing up for like this. This is not a free report anymore. This is a webinar. Webinar sign up. So somebody's going to your forum and signing up and saying, yes, I'd like to attend your webinar. So oh, we're going to tag them. We're going to send webinar details and reminders. In that scenario, so now maybe this isn't here anymore. Now the next thing could be uh, clicking a link perhaps to um, log into to the webinar or, you know, let's see, let's call it link clicked. So perhaps we're monitoring how many people actually take their email and make the attempt to attend the webinar. Okay, so in that scenario, if I'm just listening to see if they've taken some action and I'm, I'm making a record of it so that I can ultimately see how many people attempted to show up, how many people actually showed up, so on and so forth, I still want this sequence to run. I still want them to receive a reminder, maybe the day before, maybe an hour before. So I would change this to runs until completed. 
So now if they click on a link in this email, super, gets kind of recorded right here, and they kind of move on. They move on here, but they still receive everything here. So as you can see, there's really no wrong answer. What it is is it's determining what you're trying to achieve. And that is going to answer the question on whether or not you should decide to stop a sequence or run it all the way till the end.